Welcome to part 3 of the Lightning Rods Big Block Build Series. This week I've been working on the mounting system for the high powered ASI controller series which comprises the BAC 2000, 4000 and 8000. There are a few people that are interested in using this design for on their bikes so it makes sense to start here really. For the next video though I'm going to have a crack at modelling how I would like the battery system to work or maybe the seat system for the bike. So if you let me know in the comments which you'd prefer to see first and I'll be working on that one. Before Christmas though I'd already started on a mounting system for the larger back units but I put it on hold um, partly while I learned Fusion 360 and also while I waited for the frame to arrive here from Vector. The larger backs are not the easiest to install on bicycle frames but this Enduro style frame has a much much friendlier mounting point. Um, the bottom part of this frame where the controller will be located is just wider than the body of the back controllers which means that I can mount it without having it hang over the sides like you would get with, uh, with a bicycle frame. Uh, this kit also came with a nice plate for supporting the battery and that actually sits inside of here along through and that makes a really nice channel here for any wiring that comes from the back unit. This particular frame that I have is sold as the Typhoon from Vector e-bikes but it's also available direct from Elik in the Ukraine and that's where the manufacturing is and it's called the E-Cross Moto there. You can also get a full bike ready built from both of these places if that's something you're interested in and I will put some links in the description for those two. The mount is bolted to the frame with these eight mounting points. They use an M5 bolt and the whole pattern is matched to the outer slots on the plate that's within the frame. This spacing though can be easily adapted to other versions of this style of frame such as the Corbix, Ryzen or EEB. The nuts themselves are embedded within the print and that lets the surface have a cleaner look and makes it way easier to attach it onto the frame without having the nuts falling out everywhere. The plates at the front and rear screw directly into the aluminum heatsink on the back at three points with M4 bolts. It makes a really solid connection and even though the back is quite heavy it's more than enough to hold it really securely. The side cover completes the look and is secured with M3 bolts. The nice thing about doing it this way is that the hardware works for the back 2000, 4000 and 8000. The only parts that need to be unique are the side pieces as the back 4000 and 8000 are quite a bit longer. But if you did want to go with the back 8000 on your bike it would fit on this frame. So the one side panel has a plate built in and that covers the connections where the phase wires and the battery terminals go into the back. And with the other side, I'm also debating on adding in maybe a little window here so that you can see the LED that's located on here. And that LED lets you know whether the back's powered on and it also flashes out any error codes that you might be unfortunate enough to have. And that would not need you to then unbolt anything or take anything apart to actually have a look at the back. LED there. Um, I've been fairly conservative with the space in between the frame and the controller. I feel there maybe is a little bit of room to get it closer depending on how much modification people want to do to the metal plate that's inside of this frame. The simplest install would be just to cut a hole or two for the Molex plugs and then the phase and battery connections can be pulled in by making further holes uh, depending on where they're located, depending on the size of back that you'd be using. If you are going to be using this kind of frame with a back controller, I will be making this mounting system available for purchase on my website. There will probably be a few options with a basic plain version and probably a more expensive one with the multicolor and custom detailing such as logos as required. If you want something more unique for your project, drop me an email because I'm always interested in doing custom work and maybe we can work something out. There has also been some interest in using this mount for with bicycle style frames and I will be adapting the mount for that purpose as well as working on more on the Molex plugs that I showed before Christmas and uh, I will update more on that as I do more work on it. So thanks for watching the channel and more on the bike soon. Cheers.